hello to everyone in this video i am going to show you how to design nand circuit on a micro wind before going ahead first look at a circuit diagram nand circuit consists of two pmos and two nmos we are going to give total of two input to the nand and going to get one output the input are a and b here we can see that input is given at the gate and we are going to give a one common input to nmos and pmos that is a so we can now sort the gate of this pmos and then this nmos and give a common input at that gate similarly we can sort the gate of this pmos and this nmos and give a input at that gate one end of this pmos is connected to vdd one end of this pmos is also connected to vdd and here you can see that this is con this nmos is connected to ground now we are going to implement this circuit on a micro wind so for pmos we will click on p type diffusion for nmos we will click on n type diffusion as there are two pmos we will connect p type metallic block in between them so this is pmos 1 this is pmos 2 similarly we will place n type metallic blocks this is nmos 1 this is nmos 2 place another nmos n type metallic block place another n type metallic block after that place p type metallic block on pmos now one end of the pmos is connected to vdd connected to vdd we are having a polysilicon layer that is used to build a gate now gate are sorted as i have explained you earlier so at gate we are going to give the input input is in the form of a clock click on clock and add a clock to the gate clock one and this is clock two now this end is also connected to the VDD connected to VDD one end of the NMOS is connected to ground connected to ground now if we see at a circuit diagram then we are getting the in output at the common terminal of this A and B and this NMOS So we will connect this end to the this common terminal using metallic block 1. While designing these blocks we will take into consideration the minimum space of one block just to follow the lambda rules. Now click on I and place it over this line here you will see the output now you need to give an anvil to the pmos vdd will be given to this anvil now you can check your entire de design with the design rule checker here you are not getting any errors it means that your design is correct you just change the pulse of one of the clock so that you can find the differences now here you can see that for 1 and 1 you are getting 0 for 1 and 1 you are getting 0 for 0 0 you are getting 1 so this output seem to be correct again we are going to modify the clock make it somewhat slower assign it and run it again to see the differences more clearly so at 1 1 it will be 0 and in any other condition it will be 1 thank you for watching